Now we're up. I swear I did it. I swear I did it. Didn't I do it? I hey, you want to put on a commercial or something? Yeah, I'm going to commercial. Chris here. Okay. The Cash and Wildcats have a legacy of success. Hard work and being prepared is how that legacy is protected. Home, auto, business, or life, the agents at Gibson Legacy Insurance will do the hard work to make sure you are prepared and your legacy is protected. Call or text me today at 405-283-3947 for your free insurance quotes. Go Wildcats! Absolute Pools, Lawns, and Landscape is not your ordinary pool builder. From traditional to exotic and anything in between, our staff offers paramount quality and service through the entire design and build process. We provide service to the entire OKC metro and surrounding towns. So relax knowing our team is wholeheartedly committed to building a trusting and lasting relationship with you. Visit us on Facebook or give us a call today at 405-285-9729. Absolute Pools, Lawns, and Landscape. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than... Right there. Okay. When they go to commercial, each of these are about a minute long. Okay. It's on a loop. It'll start as soon as you flip it over. The commercial starts, and it'll end when you click back over. It'll pause here. So what we like to do is we like to get a full commercial in at the end. If, if, if they're about hey, if they're about to fire in on a on a pass in, let's just go ahead and click over to the end. Sound cool? Okay. The last thing we have is the school board. We'll go ahead and vote it just in case. If it's not expensive to remember, but everything is right here. So you'll just toggle between here and web browser to update. Most likely the school will be done. Sometimes Maddox has done a phenomenal job. Sometimes you'll forget it's halftime or whatever. Or whoever's doing it, you guys, I mean, God bless you. It's a little bit of a but it's better than you know. Oh, heck yeah. So uh, we, we can do it this way. We can do it on our phones as well. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, Maddox is going to just sit over here and do it. So any questions? Okay, so and if, if you want to, so like if we went to commercial, after commercial, go ahead and load the other camera view on deck, so then we'll be ready to go. Okay, and go commercial. Oh, all right. All right. So what's going to happen here in about two minutes? We're going to go to free game, and so I'm just going to move the camera, the webcam to Chris and I. Okay. I'm enjoying your broadcast. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Chris and I work hard. Appreciate you. We're kind of crazy, though. I'm crazy. I'm nutty. He's bold. That's what. I, that's the kind of copy we are. But thank you. Thanks, Washington. Yeah. Especially on the road days, you know. Right. Yeah, Thursday night or something. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We love her. We're still great. We love her. Oh, I do too. Yeah. <laughs> We have to keep it here because of the camera. Unless you want to plug in another camera. Yeah, let's tape it up. You want to tape it? Is there a tape around here? That's okay. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it in there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're getting ready to go. Are you ready? Yeah. Hey, hey. Free throws. Zoom in. Get it in tight, like the players and the shooter and the rim. Rim is the top, right? And then as they're, remember, you're following the action. So even on, on a fast break, follow it. Even on when they're slowly bringing it up. Get it in tight, get it tight. Is that the big picture? You don't have to get the whole team on the right. Okay, and then get it, you know, get on the phone and start it. All right, brother? Awesome. I've got one. That's the other piece. Remember, this is, these are the two camera mics. We're going to leave them about right here during the game. This is about 48 decimals.
last night's score? 40, 50, the girls' game? Yeah, I'm not sure. Look on my phone. I didn't even look. All right, welcome to uh, beautiful, awesome, historic, fantastic. Happy Cash in Oklahoma here on a Saturday night version of Cash and Wildcats TV. I'm Nima Nababi. Joining me up here in the corner is at the Den, the show place. I can't remember what we landed on. Uh, a wonderful place, the gym. Home of champions. Home of champions. Right? I love it. And banners <laughs> is uh, my man Chris Gibson. Chris. I'm here. Welcome. Oh, my God. I'm alive. We have missed you. We have missed you. We have missed you. So I've been looking at this red thing up top that I made that said CWTV Basketball and Neiman and Bobby. And finally, Chris Gibson gets to actually <laughs> be here. And we're so thrilled. <laughs> we're thrilled for a, not, a lot of reasons. You know, Chris has to say a little prayers for me at home just to make sure that I don't say anything crazy. Hey, and you've been doing a great job. I don't care. What anybody says, Nima <laughs> Nababi is the best play-by-play -play uh, in the I'm state. I'm the craziest. I'm the craziest. I was talking to uh, the, one of the greatest the basketball fans here in Cash, and uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Larry Jenkins, Coach Jenkins, and and I said, you know, I got coffee this morning, and it was my perfect. It was the perfect coffee for me. Uh, the flavor was medium, bold, and nutty. And that's, <laughs> that, that's exactly who I am right now. But no, I appreciate you guys joining us. We had a. Uh, Close to 2,000 folks joining us. We had another 2,000 uh, at uh, Thursday night Dale, but it is uh, it's Saturday night basketball with Cash and Wildcats taking on the Thomas Terriers, not on the football gridiron, but on the court. And it's my man Chris. Chris, uh, you've had a chance to watch. Uh, you know, we'll break down the girls' game here in a sec, but you've had a, a chance to watch the last couple of nights. Any thoughts uh, on either team? Yeah, I mean, the girls. I mean, it just seems like, you know, in that Dale game, they came out and played really good at the first, and it, and it just. I don't know if it's uh, maybe fatigue or what, but the Dell girls are they're, they're, they're legit. For a reason, they're yeah. legit. <laughs> but the girls, I mean, every game it seems like they've gotten better and better as a team and moving the ball yep. and figuring out kind of how everybody fits in. Uh, you know, uh, I think as the season goes on, Brooke and um, Neely Bedick, all those girls that are leaders on this team are going to get so much better at playing with the other girls. And, man, Izzy is just like a – just a fireball yes, out there, absolutely. you know. Just you ever seen energy nonstop. Well, I, She's amazing. a few of the games that she broadcast last year. And what that what was that one play where somebody, like, popped it up yeah. and she caught it at third base? Third base, literally <laughs> ran down the line. She's amazing. Yeah, amazing. so, yeah, definitely uh, this team, this girls team, is a work in progress, I think. And I don't think they've reached their potential yet. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And what I love, and there's Coach Tishner coming over. On Giving me head. Yeah, <laughs> Coach Tishner. We got my man Chris back, so we're good. We're happy, man. I, it's like I'm like I'm like ecstatic now. So this is great. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, they, they definitely – and what's been nice is after some of those tough losses, they bounced back with yeah. some huge wins. And last night yep. was no different after that tough loss to Dale. Came back with a 20-point victory over Wellston. Uh, the girls did what they wanted. They did it great on both ends. Uh, we had Brooke Shelley with 13 points. She had a, a big three. She had, you know, obviously the jumpers were there from the free throw line. Uh, Neely Tilly, Be Tilly Bedick, eight points. And uh, uh, Izzy Reeves, you mentioned earlier, she yep. had seven. So, again, just a, a great night for, for the Lady Wildcats. Uh, as they as they move to uh, eight and four on the season, I believe. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> With that last win over Wellston, but tonight we've got uh, Coach uh, Kyle Richter and the uh, is it Kyle Richter? No, I got to get the name right. I, I think we've got. <laughs> yes, it is Jim Petrie. I apologize. Jim Petrie. Thomas Lady Terriers. Uh, they're out here tonight. Uh, they've got a record of. Um, I, I guess they're sitting at. Uh, We'll go ahead and pull that up. Hey, hey, back to back to back games. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Sometimes your notes are going to be slow. You get home at, at 11 o'clock at night. You get a late night dinner. And you have to do up. a workout. 
I did, you know what I'm doing? By the way, side note, we've got a minute 31. <laughs> I brought up a plan here. It's a New Year's plan. You do one burpee, one push-up, and one crunch for every day of the month. That's right. So what's going to happen? No, every day of the year. Every day of the year, yes. Yeah. Right, and Chris is a part of that as well. So we're on day 13 or 15 or 16? 15. Yeah, so I knocked him out 16. earlier today. 16. Yeah, day 16. Yes. So I knocked, knocked mine out earlier today. So. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, we've got a minute nine here left. We'll break it down here in terms of the Thomas Terriers. I know Coach, uh, I think uh, uh, Chris is bringing it up. We're going to have starting lineups here in a second. We'll bring it over to the uh, uh, National Anthem. Hopefully my man, the cameraman, shout out to the Stimke brothers, Zane and Brayden, doing a great job. We've got my man Tommy. Tommy Branson's going to do a little production for us. So uh, we appreciate you all joining us. We'll go to a quick uh, National Anthem. Be here back in a sec. Okay, it's yours from now on. God bless America, the greatest country in the entire galaxy. Blessed to be here. Starting line for our girls game tonight versus the Montana Terriers. This is senior number five, Amy Jones. Senior number 13, Shayna Maddox. The junior number 14, Olivia Hill. Senior number 25, Sydney Hampton. And now the starting lineup of your Cash and Lady Wildcats are junior, number 11, Lauren Lane. A freshman, number 13, Lauren Jenkins. A senior, number 14, Neely Tilly Bennett. A junior, number It's your starting lineup for the Cash and Lady Wildcats, sitting at 8 and 4 in the season, led by Coach Andrea Taylor. It's uh, Lauren Lamb, Lauren Jenkins, Neely Baddock, Izzy Reeves, and Brooke Shelley. Certainly uh, looking forward to seeing a, a, a great, uh, another great day and evening here for the uh, Cash and Lady Wildcats uh, as they take on the Thomas Terriers. Go ahead and get you going here in a second. We've got fans coming and saying hi. We appreciate all the love. And remember, hey, listen, we say this almost every week, but I'm going to do, do a better job of reminding you. This is CashinWildcats.tv, Tommy, right? We are fans, parents, go to the school. We love this school. We get excited about the Cashin Wildcats. If you're a Cashin uh, fan, we're so glad that you're joining us. We definitely love our sponsors. If you're joining Cashin Wildcats TV for the first time, maybe you're a Thomas Terrier, maybe you're just watching to catch some good basketball, hey, hang tight. If you don't like what we're saying, you like the Cashin Wildcats, hit mute. It's okay. It's not going to hurt yeah. our feelings. We, so we, appreciate we are you not shy that we are might be a little bit homerish, <laughs> but that's okay. Jumping for the Cash and Wildcats is Izzy Reese, number 24, the junior. She able to get the first one, it goes up, and it falls in the hands of the Thomas Terriers. Cash and they're all whites with the maroon trim. Absolutely love that. Nice work there by the Cash and Wildcats, figuring out they're in a man defense. Dump down is to Megley, and she's going to be the, the person to look out for, number 35, Kyla Megley. Can't miss her, Chris. Definitely uh, got some length on the Thomas Terriers tonight. 
So Terriers coming out in a man defense as well. All green, white uh, letters and numerals. Nice back down from Reeves back out to the high post queen. Brooke Shelley falls in and out. That usually goes quickly down as Thomas, left side. And the Thomas Terriers will reset. You know, one thing that I've seen is Shelley, Brooke Shelley has been a lot more aggressive going to the basket this year. Yep. I said it over and over last year, and I want her to still keep continuing get to be more aggressive. She's She's got the handles, can, can control the ball, especially if they, she can start getting them to come out on her, shooting those threes and making them. Then she can put the ball on the floor and go to the hole. Absolutely. So great job here by the cash and defense. Working down, you're going to watch that Megley versus Brooke Shelley battle down there on the block. Deep three is up. It's good. Nice shot by number 13. We have our Shaley Maddox. Senior. Maddox with the drive and the block. She'll get two. Nice work there by the lefty. Senior getting the line. You know what, I had a chance to watch a little bit of Thomas Taylor. It's just a, a, a brief piece. Uh, they definitely do shoot well outside. Uh, you know, it does run through Medley number 35, so not surprised to see the senior Shaley Maddox with that first three. Bedick with the first one to fall. She's on the board. Yeah, Neely's done a good job this year, kind of taking over that role uh, from, uh, oh, who was our? Kate Taylor. Kate and Taylor last year of just being that team leader and being that, I mean, she was a leader last year, but Kate was that person The you threw the ball to, you got, she got it up the floor this year. Uh, Neely has done a good job of just being that person to get the ball up the floor and be kind of the uh, the coach on the floor out there as that senior leadership. Absolutely. She, she's got, she's absolutely, I was about to say, you're going to get 100% out of her, absolutely, on the offense and the defensive end. Reach there by Bedick will be her first. First team foul for the Cash and Wildcats. Cash and trailing 3-2. Extended out, I'm surprised to see Reeves all the way out there at number 25, Sydney Hampton, the sophomore. But Cash is going to put a lot of pressure on Thomas. Left side, look at that high post to Megley. There it is. She looks for the dump down. Nice work by Bedick on the cutoff on the pass. Thomas, stay patient, Chris. I mean, yep. you know, this may be a, a quick first quarter as both teams kind of feel it. Another three for Thomas goes up. Izzy Reeves going up high for the rebound. Nice work by Reeves. And Jenkins quickly down the left, right side. She'll stop her dribble back out to Bedick and Cashin will reset. Yeah, and Jenkins, I will tell you this, the favorite part, the favorite part of the game, watching at home, is when you do the toot toot when Lauren <laughs> Jenkins makes a shot. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if she likes that or not, but uh, nonetheless, <laughs> uh, she's going to get it. It's going to stick, so sorry. A nice little combo. It's nice offensive rebound there by the Cash and Wildcats, keeping the ball alive. 5.23 here in the first quarter. Both teams pressuring, extending out that defense. Jenkins, left side, left hand. In and out. Goodness, I love the drive there by the freshman. Yes, and, and she is a, a girl that, you know, I haven't got to – I don't get to watch the 7th and 8th grade girls play much. So, her coming in as a freshman and getting to watch her play has been a treat, and it's something that I'm going to be looking forward to for the next – four years of getting to watch her play basketball and uh if she's anything like that brother you know and sister i mean she's got a whole a whole line through. of them uh but Even man chambers yes exactly so it's it's Lead dog with all that. definitely somebody to to watch and, and be excited about for the next three or four years yeah the youngest of five you know yeah. you talk about maybe the baby not so lauren is uh lauren takes it she's Confident, just like that, three balls up, off the back iron. Izzy Reeves going up high, and there's the over the back. Nice work by Izzy. Draws the foul. That'll be two team fouls on the Thomas Terriers. First one on number 25, Sydney Hampton, the sophomore. We'll have some substitutions here as number 10. We'll check in Rihanna Dobbins. Cashman will stay with uh, Lamb, Reeves, Bedick, Jenkins, and Shelley. Little cross there. Nice work as Cashman sets back up. Dumped down high post to Shelley. She'll work left side all there the way you go. in. Left hand is up, but no good. And you already see Megley. She's uh, exerting her length, disrupting a lot of shots. Yeah, and I talked about Izzy Reeves' uh, energy. And uh, this that's one thing about this Cash and Wildcat team is it's going to be hard to beat their energy level. Yeah. You have Lauren Lamb that is just goes nonstop, Izzy Reeves that goes nonstop, and then Neely Bedick. Those three girls right there bring more energy than anybody else in the gym. 
And when they're all three out there on the floor, you see the hustle, and, and it pays off most of the time. So number five, Caitlin Jones. Caitlin Jones goes to the line. Foul was on Brooke Shelley, or actually it was, uh, was that, that may have been Brooke Shelley down low on the block. 4-2 Thomas, second one is up, it's off. Fight for the battle for the rebound is not there and it's won by Megley. She out chases Reeves, you don't see that all the time. No walk call there, left hand drive. Cash is staying in the man defense, Lamb up top. On number five, Caitlin Jones who was just at the line. Good job by Lamb, cutting her off. Dump down goes over the head of number 20. Journey, Journey Roberts, and that'll be turned over to Cashin with 249. She was just trying to dump that right over Lauren's head, but Lauren was in good position, and it just made her kind of throw that ball a little higher than she wanted to right out of bounds. So good defense by the Cashin Wildcats right there. Uh, to Even after that missed uh, free throw, and they got the rebound to not let them score there. Oh, goodness. That, so we, uh, we have an uh, – and I love this crew – I have a love-hate relationship, actually, with this three-man group. <laughs> actually, I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, that's a tough call. So, uh, Izzy Reeves up top, just kind of basically setting a uh, – it was a lazy screen, but there was no advantage gain up top as Bettick came through. Foul was called, 13 foul on Cashin. Drive by number five into the hole, and it's good. Caitlin Jones with her first field goal. She's got three. Jenkins quickly down. It's 6-2. Thomas, 3-16 here. Brooke Shelley working to get open against Megley. I wonder if Coach Taylor will try to extend as they are right now. Shelley out and bring Megley out and see if they can beat her off the dribble and away from the rebound. Kind of get her away from the rim. And nice three-girl weave. Frees up Bettick for three. It's off. And Thomas quickly down. You know, it's Saturday night, 5 o'clock. It's a weird time, you know. I, I wonder if the girls are just, even though it's a home game, first time they be back home in a while. If uh, it's going to take a little adjustment. It has been a sure. while since we've been yeah, in the cash time. and gym. Low block, number 20, Journey Roberts. Great job by Jenkins. The freshman taking care of business on the block. Bettick. Oh. Got to kick. <laughs> she did. She, she she kicked that leg out there and, and kind of, uh, but it was close. It was. I thought <laughs> you got close. her hand on it first. Yeah. I'm not sure what the rule is after you've tipped it out. Obviously, you can't kick it like soccer. So uh, Thomas uh, shuttling kids in and out, girls in and out. Number 13 is checking in uh, as Shaley Maddox. Uh, checking back out as number 10 tw and number 25, Rihanna Dobbins, as well as Sydney Hampton. Cashin checking in with Sydney Owens. Bettick loses the, uh, the ball for a second. Doesn't matter. Shot's no good. Bettick quickly down the left side, her favorite area. She's going to pull up. Long jumper's up. Looks like it got tipped or her hand got hit. And it should stay here. It will as Cashin retains possession as number 13. Shaley Maddox falls out of bounds. Yeah, and like you said, I mean, having Brooke Shelley out and then letting Kaylee, uh, Kyla Megley be outside, maybe that'll open up the, the uh, some lanes for Lauren Jenkins and uh, Bedick to start driving to yeah. the hole and finishing at the rim. And, and whenever they start kind of crashing that, then popping the ball out and, and letting Shelley maybe get some shots from the outside. So Thomas looking for the cut inside. Inside out, we're going to have a push on Jenkins. So... Keeping it close, and, and I have to say, Thomas really hasn't been pressuring a whole lot, all right? So, you know, based on what we're seeing, Cashin has been the aggressor on defense. Well, and on the offensive side for the, the Wildcats, I mean, we've had some shots, just haven't, yep. haven't hit anything. Yep. That'll be the first foul on Jenkins. 14 fouls for Cashin, two for Thomas. 6-2, it's been a slow first quarter, definitely from the Cashin side on the scoreboard. Thomas, throw it a bounds, errant pass intended for Caitlin Jones. Thomas has got a good football team, so hey, you know what? You know they got receivers and hands out there. <laughs> Gashin with the ball after another turnover. We'll set up. Look for Brooke Shelley on the low block there with Megley. See the battle going on. Sydney Owens will look for the screen back over to Jenkins. Let's see if they dump down to her. Jenkins thought about it for a second. Drive by Lamb to Bedick. It's off. Lamb chasing it down. Great effort, she'll get the foul. Looks like she took a little. Hip pointer to the floor, but yeah, it came down that's hard all you can on expect her. Lauren Lamb, she's absolutely going to be a hustler. Well, and that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. When that they have that hustle, and, and nine times out of ten, if it's a 50 50 ball, she is and she's got that hustle, she's going to get there first. And uh, man, I just love watching her energy, her Izzy, uh, Neely Bedick, all three. I mean, the rest of the team, the rest of the team feeds off of that, absolutely. Lamb into Sydney Owens, high post to Shelly. Shelly will put back, she doesn't look to drive. Gets the ball knocked out of her hands. 
Referee appropriately calls for the tip. Vedic left hand, great defense there by number 13, Shaley Maddox, cutting Vedic off knowing she's got that left hand. They watch film too. Megley up high, high post. Vedic comes back, goodness. And if you're watching from home, Maddox, I know you're sitting next to us. Don't ever reach from behind. Don't. It, it never is a good idea to reach from behind. You're yeah. always gonna get the foul call. And Neely, that's one thing, the issue that's just ate her up is, is the foul, foul troubles. And plays like that, she's gotta learn. I can't reach from behind or or slap at the ball when it's, it's uh, gonna be close, because they're gonna call those fouls and we need her on the court and not sitting on the bench with four fouls. Yep. So Bedick will have a seat. Checking back in is Izzy Reeves for the Cash and Wildcats. Got Lamb, Reeves, Jenkins, Owens, and Shelley. Thomas set back up. Cash and stay in that man. You'll see, you'll see man either press or, or up front in the half court. Nice job there by the front by Izzy Reeves to create the errant pass that goes over. I think you could front just about anyone except for the Megla girl. You'd probably have to make sure and side guard her. And here on the offensive side for the Cash and Wildcats, in this possession, I, I really want to see Lauren Jenkins get the ball, go to the rim, and see what happens. See if they crash down, find an open person, but be aggressive and take the ball in to the hole. Shelly thought about it, thought about the drive. She slows up. Shelly's been a little tentative already tonight. I'd like for her just to get it a little bit more aggressive. I know she's missed one or two. Cash and sloppy with the ball, and thankfully Coach Taylor says timeout, I've had enough. So with two points in the first quarter, it's been slow going for the Cash and Wildcats as they trail the Thomas Terrors by two by four. We'll go to timeout. Be right back here on Cash and Wildcats TV. Let me go talk to. At Water Heater Man, we specialize in repairing and replacing all water heaters. We service the OK. And we're back. Nima ran down to uh, do a little camera work, talking. We're back, and uh, here we go. Wildcats are, are got the ball, and like I said, I, I want to see some driving to the basket, be aggressive. And uh, with that timeout, we'll see if Coach Taylor what. Uh, play she drew, drew up to get the girls to get the ball down to the to the rim and uh, maybe get the ball into the hole. And I was just thinking, you know, before that timeout, we really haven't played a bad game defensively. We played a really good game defensively. And there it is right there, getting the ball down to the to the low post and letting Izzy really make a good move and get it up and in. 16 seconds. It was a great move by Izzy. She's been fantastic on the block. A little Hakeem Olajuwon version here in Cash and Wildcat gear. Seven seconds, Thomas looking to get to the wing. Not sure if 21 wants to shoot it. She'll cover down into five, No good no call there. Caitlin Jones goes up, and that's the end of the first quarter. A sluggish first quarter, as the Cash and Wildcats have four to the Thomas Terriers at a, six. A defensive first quarter. There you go, hey, and I love the positive spin. That's, that's what right. you need from you, Chris. That's what you bring <laughs> to this broadcast, is that optimistic, positive spin. Well, and that's the thing, as, as Bad as we were on the offensive side and not really getting to the to the rim or getting it up in the end, we played really well on the defensive side. I mean, I think they had probably four or five turnovers. Um, uh, Thomas has had four or five turnovers, and the defense have, has played really well, not really giving them any nice open looks. The only couple open looks that they had, they actually hit, and that's what gave, gave them the two-point advantage. So high scores for the Cash and Wildcats in the first uh, quarter. Well, take your pick. It's either Neely Bedick with two or Izzy Reeves with two with that last field goal there. First field goal even of the first quarter. And for the Thomas Terriers, three from Caitlin Jones and a three-pointer from Shaylee Maddox, which gives them their six. Uh, certainly, uh, certainly, you know, in these types of situations, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that the uh, lid's going to come off that rim and, and, and Cash is going to break it open here in a little bit. We might be able to see a few more scores coming in. Hey, want to make sure and say thank you again to all of our great sponsors, uh, Shape Up Fitness, uh, Gateway Realty, Grain and Grange, Rural Pest Solutions, Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics, Coffee Creek Church, Maple Nixon Diesel Horse, Cash and All Sports, Pioneer, Gibson Legacy Insurance, my man Chris Gibson, Wiggins Hill, Ogletree, Community State Bank, and the rest here, you can catch them down in the bottom right corner. We appreciate you guys taking care of us here at TWTV. Cash with the ball at the start of the second quarter, down to We've got Owens, Lamb, Reeves, 
Jenkins and Shelly. Drive by Jenkins. She goes up, and there you talked about it right there. She's going to earn herself a trip to the line. Yeah, and I love it. I love seeing that aggress aggressiveness uh, from the girls uh, with the ball in their hand. Drive in, use those lanes, find a lane, get to the rim, and uh, either go up, get fouled, make a shot, or, or start passing it out and letting some of the girls uh, get some open shots from the from the perimeter. Absolutely. You know, my coach always said, hey, listen, if it's not falling from the outside, figure out how to get the free throw line. Right? Yep. Make something happen yep. for yourself. Play some defense, and, and uh, Jenkins does that. L Train gets her first points of the game. Second one is up and good. That's for you, Buck, right there. Lord Jenkins got two. Cash in now has tied the ball game 6-6. Thomas quickly breaks the press. All the way down, Izzy Reeves trailing. No foul. Very good job by Izzy Reeves just basically running with her. Didn't bump her, didn't reach. Thomas retains possession. Cash is staying in that man defense. Shelly on the high post there against Megley. We're going to definitely kind of want to continue to watch that. And, Chris, you know, sometimes when you're having to defend, that takes a little bit out of your offensive game. Yeah, that man-to-man -man just sticking with that one person and really uh, playing out. And they, they've played that extended defense. They're not as playing as, as extended as they did in that first quarter. But uh, that that will take it out of you, too. Hey, nice screen there by Megley. She's not getting the ball, but she screens off and allows Shaley Maddox down the baseline. Nice work there by the Thomas Terriers as they get their first field goal of the second quarter. 8-6, cashing down two. Shelly eyes the three. I love it. In and out, almost there off the hand of Sydney Owens. Oh, we'll take it. Woo. Partner, we'll take it. <laughs> so some of the Thomas Terriers probably didn't appreciate that. We'll take it, though. Yeah, I, I don't, know, I don't know what he saw. Maybe he saw as the, the, the ball came off, I guess he just kind of tipped it and then landed out of bounds. Maybe that's it. We'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt on the baseline <laughs> official. Jenkins with the ball out of bounds. It, it'll be cash and ball. Bella Woody's checked back in, the junior. I believe she had three last night on a three-point bot on a basket. Land to Jenkins. Jenkins eyes a nice work there on the ball fake. Back to Shelly. Nice work on the crossover. And let's see what happens here. Kicks out the Woody. Would have liked maybe to see her shoot, but uh, yeah, just got to be careful here. Dumb down. No foul call. That's all right. Nice work by Izzy Reeves to capture that. Jenkins to the rack. Dump down to Reeves. Spin move, and we'll have offensive. I'll give. You know what? I'll give. Uh, Number 25, a little bit of the Oscar there, Sydney Hampton. That was, uh, uh, that was a good fall, but it was the correct call. Yeah, there was an extension of the arm. Yep. It might, might have been a little bit of over-exaggeration, but, I mean, she did get hit, and she went to the floor, and it was, it was a foul. Good call by the official. So Reeves will have a seat on the bench with two. Cashin's got six fouls, four to Thomas. 6-8, Cashin down to 624, second quarter. Yeah, she's staying in that man. Megley hasn't moved from that high post. She's either coming down to stay up there or set low, uh, screens down low. She has the ball now. Working on Shelly, left hand. Good help by Lamb on the help side. But she's able to get her first basket on a nice left-handed move to the basket. Yeah, and look to see a lot more of that as the game, yep, as the game goes on. Uh, she's so good with the ball in her hand, and as she turns and faces the basket, she just took that left hand right to the basket and up and in. Owens in trouble. Looking for Woody, gets tipped out of bounds by number three, Rainey Leverett. And they're kind of extending their defense, of, defense out now. And uh, put that ball in the hands of Lauren Jenkins and let her uh, move around and, and try to get to the basket. Good job by, by Brooke right there. Oh, called a, call yeah, a could walk. Could have been a foul, could have been a jump ball. Yeah. They end up calling walk. Worst of the three situations for Cash and possession error points to Thomas. Full court press for the Cash and Wildcats. We've got Lamb and Sidney Owens deep. Good job by Lamb, cutting her off. Get there. Almost gets it there. Jenkins just a hair slow or late to get to that ball. Dump down is broken. Bunnies miss. Sidney Owens with the rebound. Jenkins quickly down left side. She'll cut back cross and she'll get the foul. Nice work there by Jenkins. Aggressive to the basket. Yes, and just put it on the floor, head towards the basket, and a lot of times you'll see it. Uh, uh, somebody will come over kind of out of out of position and, and foul like that just because they don't want to get you, they, you don't they don't want you to have that you know wide open uh fast break offense Brianna Dobbins checking in a junior for Thomas <laughs> you know uh, the the official there waited waiting to see what happens as opposed to moving his feet to get a good angle to see where it was at but uh, nonetheless goes back out of bounds and we've got a call away from the basket from our favorite official 
I think that one's going to go against, yeah, it does go against Lamb. Trying to uh, basically get free off of uh, the, the man defense from Thomas. 6-10, cashing down four. Good pressure drive by Woody. Owens getting the foul. Owens is able to get it. Looks like the possession arrow will stay here with Thomas. So every 50-50 ball has gone Thomas' way. At some point, it'll have to turn for Cashin. 5-14 here in the second quarter here on Cashin Wildcats TV. Thanks, thank you so much for joining us. Aaron Pass comes down. Shelley's able to get that. And Chocolat said, I got this. I got this. Please. I'll lead the break. Yeah. Jenkins will go ahead and get the ball from Shelley as she resets. Five out for the Cashin Lady Wildcats. Jenkins will set up. She's got number 13, senior Shaylee Maddox and her. Bella Woody on the wing. Quick to around the horn. Still popped out by number 25 against the driving Jenkins. And that's, a that's a situation where Jenkins may not probably need to find the lane that's open to her, not into the heart of the Thomas defense. No foul there called. Megley now working from baseline from block to block now. She's got the ball at the three-point line. Shelly on her. Thomas will reset. And Brooke Jumped did a good. Number five, Caitlin Jones has missed. Shelly with the rebound, and yep. Cashin will regroup and move it across. Quickly down, Lamb, left side. She'll go left all the way to the rack, gets the call. And she'll get the two-shot foul. I was worried they weren't going to give it to her, but uh, Lamb staying aggressive. She yep. gets to the line. Good job taking it to the hole, uh, getting fouled, and... and She's so good from the free throw line. You love seeing her uh, taking it to the hole like that and getting a chance to get to the line or make a shot. That's a great point, uh, you know, Chris. You know, if you if you uh, work on your free throw shooting, and that kind of actually works in your favor to be even more aggressive knowing you can get to the yep. line and create points for yourself. And with that, that's uh, with that bucket, that kind of stops the bleeding there for Cash and as they didn't hadn't had a score for about two and a half minutes. Laying with her first points of the game. Reese Williams, Smiley, freshman's checked in. Lamb with the second. No good, we jinxed her. Yeah, we did. Chris. We jinxed her. 7-10, cashing down three. We got Owens, Williams, Shelley, Bedick, and Lamb for the cashing Wildcats. Staying in that man defense. Bedick extending out the D, coming out to get number 10. And we do have the illegal screen. Nice work. Great call there by this, the lead official. That's going to go against number 20, Journey Roberts, the junior. That's her first. And we're, we're knotted up at seven. Is this not, I guess it was player control. It should be, well, it was a block. It should be one and one. She did not have the ball. But nonetheless, seven fouls on each team. Williams with the ball. She'll swing down to Owens. Shelly working hard on Megley. Get her the ball, please. She's asking for it. Drive. Lamb will work back out and set back up. Oh, good pass. A double foul. Oh man, let them play down there. I mean, it. All it is, they're they're being physical. They're trying to get in position. Let them go after it and and play. That was a good job uh, by Brooke and by Megley uh, of just being physical, being uh, tough down there on the block. And uh, that's something you want to see out of Brooke being yeah. being physical down there and, and getting in position. And that was a great pass by uh, Reese. About the time he blew the uh, blew the the whistle, it would have been a, a, a great pass and, and just feeding her straight to the basket. Three uh, three point shot is a little long for Bedick. Cashin lonely behind the three point line. Big goose egg. Drive by number twenty five. By the way, good help by Shelley. Little uh, nice work getting down there on the block causes number straight up to Hampton to miss that. Uh, Bedick <laughs> deep pass to Williams. A dangerous pass across the lane. Goodness, Shelly can't catch a break here. So, staying aggressive. Another walk call on Shelly. That's her second of the first half. Cashing in a full court press. Thomas quickly breaks it by going across the middle. Journey Roberts kicks it back out to Magley. Magley deep two off the iron. Chased down by Shelly. She's got about four rebounds. Nice work by the junior. And Williams to bring it across the timeline. 2.53, second quarter. Cashing down three, seven, ten. Around the horn they go. Williams doesn't look to take the baseline. No block call there. No reach call. Knocked at Lamb, knocked to the ground. Megley all over Shelly. She'll go up, pulls it up. Doesn't fall, gets her own rebound, and we'll get the foul on the floor. <laughs> 
I don't care. It happened. We got her. <laughs> I'm not sure how it was happening. You could have had your pick between Lamb, Williams, or Shelly. But Shelly now will be going the line. That's two fouls on number 20, Journey Roberts. Number 25, checking out Sydney Hampton. In for her is number 14, Olivia Hampton. Her sister, I guess a little high five from Sydney's sister. And Shelly's at the line for one and one. Well, they, you know, the official made made a point a while ago of, of calling a foul, a double foul, on two players that were really being physical. And then they've let really <laughs> it be even more physical since then and not called any fouls. Uh, so let's see how this game progresses, see how the officials kind of call this game. If it's going to be a physical game, you know, get out there and use that to your advantage and, and really pressure the ball. Pass finds number 13, Shaley Maddox, wide open on the block. She misses the bunny, jumpers up, no good. Loose ball. Falls into Magley's hand. Another offensive rebound for Thomas after Brooke Shelley went one for two from the line. Drive by number five, Caitlin Jones. It's up. Wild shot. Bedick there on the help, and we have a walk. Nice call there. You know, Chris, sometimes, you know, these officials, you know, you would think a three-man crew would be a good thing, right? You got to better angles. You get to see more. But, you know, a lot of times now you're introducing three different guys' vision of the game and how they want to call the game. It's really important for these guys in the dressing room as they're getting ready, eating that uh, beef jerky and getting that diet <laughs> down to have a conversation on what kind of game they want to call. Bet it quickly down. Two minutes. Back cut to Lamb. Dangerous pass. Reese Williams up top, the freshman. She's looking to go down low. Nice back cut to Jenkins. Cashman works it around. I love Lamb on the baseline. Goes up. No call. Izzy Reeves with the rebound. Nice work. She gets that clean. She might be able to go up. Rebound is got Williams. Nothing is falling for the Cashman Wildcats from behind the arc, mid-range, or in the lane. And we've got a timeout by Coach, uh, Coach Petrie. I mean, Thomas Terrors is 137, a two point lead says we got to calm this stuff down. We've got a quick timeout. We'll be right back here on Cash and Wildcat TV. See Metro and surrounding towns with fast, reliable service. We keep our vans fully stocked with essential parts needed for basic repairs, and new tanks are always on the vans ready to go. We offer free estimates on all jobs with financing options available. We match manufacturer's warranty for all newly replaced water heaters. We'll get your water heater back up and running as fast as possible so you don't have to put your life on hold waiting for service. Give us a call today, 405-844-TANK. That's 405-844-8265. Go Wildcats! Welcome back to Cash and Wildcat TV here. I'm Neiman Bobby. Joining me up here is my man Chris Gibson. Finally, BFF. <laughs> hey, glad to be here. Yeah, that's right. I well, don't know about that singing. No. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I do have a mean karaoke rap game. Uh-oh. Not as good as Josh Dieselhorse, if you know him. Thomas with the ball. Up to 8 to 10. It's been a sluggish first half, definitely, for both teams. They both missed shots. And there we go. Nice job there by the official. It's going to be on number 20, Journey Roberts. That, that's going to be her third. Should, it, it won't be a one-on-one -on -one to the player control. And one thing that's kind of kept this uh, Cash and Wildcat team in the game, you know, even <laughs> missing shot after shot from just point-blank range, but we have been uh, doing a really good job on the on the rebounding on the boards, yep. defensive and offensively. We've had lots of chances at, at making shots. We just haven't been making them. And then on the defensive side, we've really only been giving them one and dones. And uh, there's been a few offensive rebounds by the Terriers, but not very many, few and far between. And so we've done a great job on the boards. we got to keep that up if we want to be able to stay in this game and take the lead at some point. Bedick with a slap on the ball. It was all ball. We saw it. Knocks it out. Thomas <laughs> is able to, to regroup. Minute two here in the second quarter, left in the first half. Cashing down two. Shot is up. Three-pointers off the front iron. Jenkins with the ball. Looks like it went off her hands. Nice work there by the freshman getting active down there on the block. There was a lot of traffic. Belly Woody will check in wisely with 52 seconds for Bedick to keep her out of foul trouble. Nice work by Coach Taylor. No cheap fouls under a minute. Jump down to Megley. Great job by Izzy Rees. Woody on the floor. We'll have a jump ball. I think it will stay here. No, it's going to be cash and ball. So great job by Izzy Rees jumping that pass. Bella Woody diving on the floor, and Bedick will check back in for offense. Under a minute, 49 seconds. Cash has a chance here to, to tie this ball game. Sometimes it feels like we're down 1,000. Yeah. But uh, we'll have a chance to tie it here as Jenkins. 2-2, two -two, L train will bring it up. Man defense for the Thomas Terriers. Lamb. Extend it out. Let's see what we've got here as Cash will run that three girl weave up top. And we'll see if we can get the back cut. Better keep oh. her head up. She'll take the three. It's up. Bang! 
Three-pointers made. Bedick finally. We have an injury on the floor. Yeah, that is not good. I mean, she, she wasn't even really touched. Just the way she yep. she turned and uh, her knee kind of planted and, and and just did not look good the way she went down, especially the way she's holding holding that knee. Hey, we'll go to a timeout here on Cash and Wildcat TV as the uh, injured Thomas Terrier is on the floor being attended to. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be right back here in a sec. Gateway Realty is a mother-daughter team that has a heart for small-town life. Both Anita and Kelly were born and raised in Cashin and are still raising their families here. Their family homesteaded in Cashin in 1908 and it's been home ever since. Anita and Kelly know this town, love this town, and would love to help make this your home too. For a friendly face and trustworthy knowledge, call these hometown girls at 405-641-7388. Go Wildcats! Cash In Shape Up Fitness is locally owned and operated with no contracts or sign-up fees. Our rates start at only $30 per month, and we have tanning available. Everything you need to work on your health and fitness. So contact Amber Lee to sign up today, 405-538-8248. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Cash In Shape Up Fitness. All right, welcome back. Injured uh, player was uh, Lydia Hampton, the junior. She did walk off the court, but still being attended to. As Chris offered up, it, it's one of those uh, nasty situations where no contact, you know, grabbing the knee. So with the May 3, Cashin actually has their first lead of the game. 11-10, 27 seconds here in the half. Thomas with the ball, a little toe compress here as he reaves up top on Megley as Shelley sits with two fouls. Steal by Williams, left side, all the way, one, two, doesn't get it. Woody with the rebound, four seconds. Lamb with the foul. <laughs> and just like that, is she gonna shoot three, is she on the line? They're gonna say two foul shot. So, yeah, that Lamb, a little lucky, but you know, that's one of those deals where if you're a trailing player on a three-point shot at the end of the half, it's uh, that's a big no-no to come across like that. That's gonna be called. So Lamb will have a chance here to extend the cash and lead. First one is up and good. Lamb's got two points, both from the line. 1.1, 1 .1, so regardless of a miss or a make, it's gonna be a tough go here for Thomas. Shot is up, it's good. Thomas with the ball on the baseline catch. And that'll be it as the end of the uh, first half comes to a draw, uh, comes to a, <laughs> a head as the Cash and Wildcats, after all of that ugliness, all of that slow play, balls going in and out, actually have the lead 13-10. Yeah, I mean, it, it was one of those things where you felt like, like you said, felt like we were way behind, but you look up and we were only a few points behind and then wound up with the defense that we were playing, getting rebounds, and, and that was keeping the Wildcats in, in, you know, striking distance. And then right there at the end, hit a big three, hit a couple three uh, uh, free throws, get that three-point lead going into the locker room. You got to really feel – the best you can about this game right now because it's 13-10. But Coach Taylor knows that, hey, that our team did not play our best right. and we're still up three. We have a good shot of winning this game. Absolutely. Well said. Golly, so great to have you back, Chris. So <laughs> great to have you back. As we talked about during football season and now basketball season, just listen and you'll learn. Uh, you'll learn. You'll, you'll be smart. You'll learn how I ramble. Listen to Chris. What's that? <laughs> you, you'll learn how much I ramble. That's not true. Absolutely not. <laughs> So with that here on Cash and Wildcats TV, it's your Cash and Lady Wildcats up three, 13 to 10. We got about nine minutes here at halftime. We'll go to a quick break. Come on back. We'll have some halftime stats and we'll get you going for the second half of the girls' game here with the uh, Cash and Wildcats versus the Lady Terriers of Thomas.
I'm Todd Miller, and this is Grain & Grange, the coolest furniture store you've never heard of. Come see us. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse and we are here to help. Have a pest problem? Call Rural Pest Solutions today. We offer as-needed services as well as a variety of treatment schedules. We're family owned and operated and we specialize in treating life's smallest problems. Spiders, ants, roaches, termites, mice, and more. For both residential and commercial, we're ready to solve your pest problems today. So call Rural Pest Solutions in Cashin, 405-238-6565. Proud supporter of Wildcat Athletes. Pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Wiggins, Sewell, and Ogletree is dedicated to championing our clients through complicated and challenging litigations. We pride ourselves on a proven track record of success brought forth by fierce litigation skills. The lawyers and staff of our firm are dedicated to effective and personalized representation for every client who entrusts our service uncompromising integrity, unparalleled results. Call Wiggins, Sewell, and Ogletree, 405-232-1211. For 31 years and counting, Community State Bank has taken great pride in being your hometown bank. With branches located in Cashin, Dover, and Hennessy, CSB strives to reflect the small town hospitality these communities are known for. Our friendly staff is here to serve you and provide one of the best banking experiences around, equipping our customers with the latest in banking technology combined with a personal down-home relationship. Come into one of our local branches or visit us at www.mycsb.com. Community State Bank, small town banking, the way it should be. Member FDIC. Christy Perry is a cash and based attorney providing clients in Oklahoma with trusted, experienced legal counsel regarding wills and trusts, bankruptcy, and other areas of law. Flexible scheduling is available to discuss your options, and your first consultation is free. If you need assistance regarding a legal matter, call your local Oklahoma licensed attorney, Christy Perry, at 918-373-0882. Hey, it's Chris here. The Cash and Wildcats have a legacy of success. Hard work and being prepared is how that legacy is protected. Home, auto, business, or life, the agents at Gibson Legacy Insurance will do the hard work to make sure you are prepared and your legacy is protected. Call or text me today at 405-283-3947 for your free insurance quotes. Go Wildcats! Absolute Pools, Lawns, and Landscape is not your ordinary pool builder. From traditional to exotic and anything in between, our staff offers paramount quality and service through the entire design and build process. We provide service to the entire OKC metro and surrounding towns. So relax knowing our team is wholeheartedly committed to building a trusting and lasting relationship with you. Visit us on Facebook or give us a call today at 405-285-9729. Absolute Pools, Lawns, and Landscape. 
Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Cashin FBC is a church seeking to grow in Christ and our love for the body of Christ. With ministries from children to youth to adults, we strive to present the gospel in an engaging and meaningful way. Sunday school meets at 9.45 a.m. and worship starts at 11 a.m. Children and youth meet on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Please check our website at cashinfbc.org for more information and we hope to see you this Sunday. Located a half mile east of Cashin. to Cash in Oklahoma, where your Cash and Lady Wildcats are up 13 to 10 here over the visiting Thomas Terriers. I'm Eamon Abavi. Joining me up here in the corner is my man, my man, Chris Gibson here on Cash and Wildcat Saturday Night Basketball. Chris, it was a slow start, stayed slow. Somehow Cash and has the lead. And uh, if you're Coach Taylor, what do you want to do here in the second half? Well, I mean, I just want to tell the girls that keep playing that defense that you've been playing the whole first half. Keep getting those rebounds, and then off on the offensive side of the ball, keep shooting the ball, keep going yep. to the rim, and it'll start falling. And you just saw it, you know, you keep yourself in the game uh, with the defense and the rebounding. That offense will come, and, and you'll get a lead, and, and that's exactly what happened by the end of that first half. Absolutely. And so if you take a look at the Cash and Wildcats stats at half, uh, all five starters scored, Lauren Jenkins with two, Lauren Lamb with three, Neely Bedick with five, Izzy Reeves with two, Brooke Shelley with one. For the Thomas Terriers, leading scorer is number 13, senior Shaylee Maddox. She's got five. Caitlin Jones, senior guard, has three. And uh, the uh, lengthy post, number 35, sophomore Kyla Megley, she's got two. So under a minute here, right before the start of the half, uh, you know, Chris broke it down for you uh, from a standpoint uh, for us. Uh, we appreciate you guys joining us uh, so much. Uh, can't do it without you all. Again, a big thanks to our administration, Coach Shaq. Uh, Coach uh, Hardaway, as well as Sammy Jackson, uh, superintendent. And as a reminder, this is Cash and Wildcats.tv, which means you're going to get a homer broadcast. We're going to be really <laughs> excited when we make big threes and big baskets, or at least I am. Chris is a little bit more chill. His vibe is a little bit more chill. But we're going to be excited when that happens because we support this community. And uh, we're so glad that uh, our community has a chance to join in and watch and follow. Uh, we get a lot of great uh, messages and thanks. And, uh, again, this is a, a fun thing for Chris and I. So with that, we have the start of the second half, third quarter action. Thomas and all green. Coming across the timeline is number five, Caitlin Jones, working up that screen for Megley. She misses that back cut to Megley. For the Cash and Wildcats, we've got Bedick, Lamb, Jenkins, Shelley, and Reeves, original starting five. 25 baseline drive by Sydney Hampton. It's up, back iron, rebound by Megley. She misses Izzy Reeves there with a little bit of peskiness. Jenkins wisely, wisely pulls back. Nice work instead of getting stuck on the sideline in the trap. And she's just a freshman, but I tell you, L train, she's got high basketball IQ. Quick, quickly working around. Nice work, ball movement by the Cash and Wildcats. Getting deep into Reeves, no push call. Goodness gracious. Loose ball on the kick back out from Reeves to Bedick. When you, move, when you move Izzy Reeves like that, you, you put a lot of effort and force. I'm, I'm surprised there wasn't a call on that. And she does a good job of getting down there and getting positioned to get the ball to, uh, in her hands. And uh, like you said, she, and she's done a great job this year of making moves down there, and she, you can tell she's worked on that low block game. Dump down, nice ball fake by number five, Sydney Hampton. It's good. Wow, that was a, just a good cut and pass by the Thomas Terriers right there to get to the rim. So it's 13-12, cash and three-point lead is now just one. Shelly on the high post against Megley. Double high post here, looking for the curl. There it is, the Bedick left hand. Thomas, we got lucky there. That's a good one, could have gone either way. We get that 50-51. Block on number 25, Sydney Hampton. And this is where Thomas knows that that Bedick is a left-handed, yep. left-hand player. Yep. And they cut her off, knowing that it was gonna come. Just not letting, 
letting her have anything going that left side and uh that's good coaching right there and, and uh the the girls learning and and, and doing a good job Dumped right there let her get in oh my goodness Great pass, nice nice drive, nice drop down by Bettick. She just can't finish with the left hand. And that's what kind of night it's been thus far for the Lacey, Lady, Cash and Lady Wildcats. Another missed shot, Thomas with the ball. Great tip there by Bettick, active hands, loose ball, Reese gets it, no foul. Jenkins quickly to Bettick, they've got numbers, three on two. Bettick will curl back out. Jenkins with the three, L train. No good. One and done for the Cash and Wildcats again. And Thomas will reset here with 5.55, third quarter action. Nice pass by Megley, he got the foul. Almost could have got a three second call, but Megley wisely drops it dime into number 25, Sydney Hampton, she'll draw the foul and go the line. Yeah, and there was, there was a lot of times in that first half that they were really trying to, to do that right there, drop that in on the backside of that front, and, uh, and it went out of bounds. That time, great pass by Megley, got it right in her hands, and Izzy, all she could really do was, was foul and not let her have that easy, easy layup, and already it kind of paid off sure with did. the missed free throw. Second one is good for Hampton. She's got three. All here in the second half. Bet it quickly down, right side. Looking for the back cut. Jenkins better hustle, she does. Back to Bettick, she's got baseline. She'll shoot the jumper, it's up. It's short, no legs. You know, Chris, maybe this uh, third game in three nights is uh, taking its toll on the Cash and Wildcats. It's five seconds. Intense pressure on the backcourt. We've got a timeout 30 second for Coach Petrie, who was gonna get a 10 second call. I know the Thomas fans want the foul. Great work there by Bettick on the denial. Moving her feet, hands straight up, didn't reach. We'll leave it here. Yeah, and you said it. I mean, the third, third game in three nights. Both, and that's one thing. Last night, I noticed uh, with the boys and, and the girls came out with a lot more energy than the boys did. The boys just kind of looked like they were going through the uh, the motions. And um, and I was thinking, man, they got another game tomorrow night. And you really want, you really hope that they, uh, the girls and the boys, this third night, you know, getting deep in the game, they can keep their uh, feet about them keep their energy up, and, and really don't let uh, that third game in a row get you down later in the game. Amen, amen. You have to dig deep. They got some time off, so hey, listen, just dig deep, let it go here, second half, go get the win, 13 all. Thomas with the ball, full court press, Shelly on Megley, Megley brings it down across the middle, right hand, cross court pass, out of bounds. You know, the intended, uh, intended uh, ball player, Sydney Hampton, was a little deep on that. If she, I think she would have flashed and come up a little bit higher. Would have had a chance. So after the turnover, Cashin has the ball. The freshman Jenkins up top, number 10, R Rena, R Rena Dobbins, Rihanna Dobbins on her. I'll get the names right. Three nights for me, too. <laughs> Quickly swung out. Lamb decides to go back to the middle, back to Bedick. Bedick is off, off the hands of the Thomas Terrier. Swung down, almost, goodness, wow. Nice little save there by number 10, Rihanna Dobbins. And Caitlin Jones will get it, and Thomas will take over here, tied 13 all. Jump down the block, good defense, nice help by Bettick with Reeves, and number 25, Sydney Hampton on the block. Right hand scoop, no good. Hampton with the rebound on the back side, and she'll go to the line. Yeah, no where we were getting those rebounds in that first half. There's been a couple times this uh, the second half where we're not getting in position to get the rebounds, and it uh, hurt us here. He goes good for Hampton. A little bad luck too, Chris, on that one. Yeah. Because, uh, both defenders came back across to take the shot, and it fell out and fell, and Hampton basically was in the, Johnny on the spot. Hampton's got four, all in the second half. That's long, rebounds up. Look at that. <laughs> Over the back on Thomas. You know what, if I'm, uh, if I'm uh, uh, Caitlin Jones, I'm doing the same thing too. I'm like, hey, yep. I was the aggressor, I went and got it. Nobody else was doing anything. Yeah, she but. just uh, pretty much crashed in there and went to the ball and didn't really go over anybody's back. So I, I'm, I'm kind of with her and you. Of, I didn't see a foul there. That's her third foul. 
Second team foul on Thomas. Cashin with the ball. Brooke Shelley and Megley, I'm, if, you, if you have a chance to have a third eyeball and you want to watch that battle. 35 and 41. Oh, nice good cut pass. pass. Great job. Shelley eyeballs. Finds a cutting Bennett. And that's kind of what we talked about in the first half where you get Shelley out there, get Megley out of the lane, where get that length out of the lane. And uh, uh, that time, uh, Bedick did a good job of just going to the hole, and uh, Brooke Shelley just dropped the dime for the easy layup. Great work by Sydney Owens, who's checked in for Izzy Reeves, driving uh, number 20 to the baseline. Journey Roberts, she kicks the ball back in again. Nice help there by Bedick. Comes back out to take the driving guard, and that's off the foot. Looks like it is off the foot of Sydney Owens, but good defense there by the Cash and Wildcats. Yeah, and definitely want to watch that uh, Megley go into that opposite block when the ball is down low. She was wide open there. Uh, Journey did not see her a while ago, but I guarantee their coach, he's a good coach, he's going to tell her, hey, watch for that cut to that back block. She's wide open. And uh, But Shelly, I think she saw that. Brooke saw that, and uh, maybe she'll be there for the next one. So Megley drawing the double team with Shelly and Bedick frees up. Shaley Maddox, she gets her seventh point of the game. Pressure up top, Lamb gets three. A lot of bumps, Bedick drives. No foul, looks like it'll go out of bounds and stay here. Game's getting chippy and physical. Yeah, and the thing is, is whenever you're playing that extended defense and you're up on them and uh, the ball is passed or moved, there's gonna be contact and they're not calling it and they're letting the girls get away with it and it, that's just part of it. That's how this game has gone from the very first get-go. There was one time that they kind of stopped them for some physicality, but they have let them play. Bedick with the drive. Lefty is good. Nice work there by Bedick beating the defender off the uh, attempted steal in the pass. Cashin with the lead, 17-16. Up back one. Nice work with Bedick on back-to-back -back buckets. Uh-oh. Cash is saying that man defense, extended out. Thomas running to weave up top around the free throw and look for the spin. Shelly loses number 25. Sydney Hampton, this shot, Lamb with the rebound, fortunately. And the Cash and Wildcats will take over with the ball here, 220, third quarter. Shelly right side, looking for the screen back. Lamb, curl to Jenkins, looking for that back cut to Owens, no foul call. As she trips over the defender, number 20, Journey Roberts. That would have been her fourth. Lamb with the three, it's up. Bang, and we need it. Thank you, Lauren. Yeah, Lauren. Three ball was good. Just getting that ball on that wing right there and uh, had a little bit of space and decided to pull it. And uh, like you said, we needed that. Uh, great timing by, by Lauren hitting that to put us up by four. You know, shooting that three and making the three extends that defense out even more, which gives opportunities for the low block and the high post like Shelly and Reeves. That's a good sign, and let's see if we can't find Lamb again. 133, under two minutes here, third quarter. Hampton with the three, it's a little high. Bet it quickly with a rebound on the tough shot. Left hand all the way down, she's getting chased. And it's blocked out of bounds. Great effort there by Shelly Maddox, not getting the foul and blocking the... Pass and that's you know that's where I, you know again not comparing teams but that's where I love someone like Jonah Jenkins CP3 he's able to slow down decelerate and kind of create some space with his back and length of his arm instead yep. of going straight to the cup kind of creating some distance and then scooping it in. 2016 cashing up four 122 Bedick with the three it's up short Shelly going high for the rebound nice work by the junior gets another offensive rebound and the count yes ma'am. Shelly working hard, give her some fives. I love it, 41. Hey. Count the bucket, gonna get a chance with an and one. That emotion, that physicality, and just the aggressiveness by Brooke Shelly right there is huge, and that's exactly what you wanna see out of her because she is so good. Uh, when she's aggressive and she's going to the basket and she's putting up shots, that's when she plays her best, and right there, that's what she can be every game, all game, if she, if she will just focus on doing that and being physical and going to the ball and getting the ball and taking it up strong. Rare miss for Brooke Shelley from the free throw line, but uh, Chris, I absolutely agree with you. And she's working her heart out tonight, working her tail against Megley on both ends. You almost want to reward her with the ball every so often. 
but she did it herself there with an offensive rebound and a putback. Thomas now down six, biggest lead for the Cash and Lady Wildcats. Trying to work into Begley, Shelley there. Shot is up, it tips out, bet it quickly. They got numbers, two on one. Left side, pass down to Lamb, trailer. It's good. Nice two on, two on one game there for the Cash and Wildcat. Two speedy cats heading down the court. Cashing up eight, 30 seconds left in the third quarter. All the steal by Reese Williams is checking. The jumper's up, it's good. Stops the bleeding there. Rennie Leverett with her first basket of the game. 24-18, six point lead. Last possession here in the third quarter. 16 seconds. Bedick with the ball. Looking for the screen left side with Sidney Owens. Drive, kick. Williams kicks it back out to Shelley. To Williams, six seconds. Shoot it. Owens with the tip. Thomas with the ball with one. Half court shot should not count. It's close. And with that, it's the end of the third quarter as you're cashing Wildcats go on a run. They put up 24, and they lead the Thomas Terriers 24-18. Yeah, and a good run there, like you said, just kind of popped them out there, got got a uh, eight-point lead, I think, at, at one point, and then uh, they scored that, Thomas scored that point, that little bouncer that went in there. But here's the thing, the defense, you said it, Brooke Shelley, you know, she hasn't had that big scoring game that we've seen out of her in, the, in uh, a couple of the games as the season has gone on. But on the defensive side, to shut Megley down, that girl is, is going to be really, really good. She's only a sophomore, and Brooke is playing some of the best defense probably she's seen against her this year. And uh, for that right there, uh, Brooke, that's, that's her game plan tonight. I guarantee you Coach uh, Taylor said, Make sure you shut her down. If you do that, that's what we want out of yep. you tonight. And then you saw her, uh, Brooke Shelley, on the offensive boards a while ago, just going up, getting two in a row, putting it up, and getting it. And that kind of that energy right there just springs the, the rest of the team forward. Had a big May three by uh, Lauren Lamb. Yep. And uh, that's the thing. I think that's the only three we've had we, all night. No, we've had no bet it came back and hit one as okay, well. Okay, bet it. Yeah, bet it hit one. But those two threes right there all night long, we've had a lot of, of some shots that usually fall. So in this fourth quarter, let's see if we don't hit a few more threes, extend this lead, and uh, really see some more good defense by the Wildcats. So Cash will start off in the fourth quarter. Hi, Coach Chambers. Working back. Coach Chambers, she knows she's rooting on number 13 over there for sure. Team basketball at its finest here for Coach Taylor and the Wildcats in white here. Post, Shelly, Shelly with a high post jumper just like that. You cannot leave her open. Do not leave her open on that shot. 26-18, back to an eight-point eight lead for the Cash and Wildcats. High screen for Megley, frees her up. Drive, right hand, back out. Great job by Lamb on defense. Oh, and we do have a walk out of bounds. The uh, floor monster got her there. Did she roll her ankle? And that corner of the floor has been rough on the Terriers. <laughs> it sure has. Looks like she's okay. She's going to be subbed out. That's uh, uh, Remy, uh, Rennie Leverett. She's got a, a, a bucket here in the second half. So Thomas in a 2-3 now, changing their defense a little bit. Drive by Baddock, she'll go ahead and keep it dumped down to Shelly, short corner, baseline right, he's up, it's good! Yes ma'am, Brooke Shelly, love it! She 10 is, point lead. I mean, I'm telling you, that girl is, is so good with the ball in her hand, she's, she's um, once she gets the ball in her hand, she can dribble for as tall as she is. She's got really good handles, and that's what I love to see about yep. a player like that uh, that can really control the ball and be in control and take it up. Uh, big three right there by the Terriers. Yeah, Shaley Maddox has been the uh, go-to person for the Thomas Terriers with another big three. All right, we got the Hammonds family. My in-laws have come in. Love seeing that. Jump down to Shelly in the short corner. She doesn't look to score. I would have loved for her to look, but Lamb is up. Bang! That's what she did. She knew something I didn't. Second May three for Lauren Lamb. Take the lid off. It's happening for the Cash and Wildcats, and that's a timeout for Coach Dave Petrie. He's had enough as the Wildcats go on a nice little run here to start the fourth quarter. Up 10, 31-21. Yeah, hey, some gonna, go ahead. I was just going to say some of those shots that we, you know, in that first half, first quarter, weren't falling, nothing was falling. They're falling now, and, uh, man, we really went on a good run to get up by that 10 points. Carry that on. Keep that energy up. Play good defense, and, and it, the rest will take care of itself. Yeah, we'll leave it here for that timeout. I absolutely agree with you, Chris, and everything that you said is, is coming to fruition regarding uh, the play of the outside play and then obviously Shelly coming alive. She's had some drives, 
an and one opportunity, a couple jumpers, so love seeing that. And love the change here for Coach Taylor as a, as the Thomas Terriers moved to a 2-3, getting Shelly involved in a short corner and get, getting her some of our favorite spots down low to make things happen for ourselves. The rest of the fans coming up. How'd the soccer game go? Good, all right, very good. Tied. Kate Nabavi had a basketball game and two soccer games, so she's a little busy today with her, her <laughs> BFF or boo. Future All-Stater, I'm calling it right now. Yeah. Kate Nabavi. You think so? Oh, yeah. Well, y'all lay. I'm calling it. You know, if that happened, uh, uh, her oldest brother, Alex, would probably come over and try to steal that jacket and burn it. <laughs> she doesn't get much with, uh, with her, older, her, older brother, her older brother, Alex. The other ones are fine with her. <laughs> Thomas with the ball after the timeout. Coach Petrie wisely taking that timeout to stop the bleeding. Terrace quickly break it in, come down. Sydney Hampton, who had that last three, dumps down into number 20. Short there for, uh, uh, for Journey Roberts. It's a good pass, and look, batted quickly back out to Lamb, heck yeah. Oh, I thought she was gonna shoot it, nice ball fake. And Cash wisely sets back up. We've got Jenkins, Lamb, Owens, Bettick, and Shelley. Izzy Reeves with some foul trouble. But Cash and Wildcats doing great right now with the five they have. Dump down to Shelly, nice look. Shelly draws the double team, looking for some help. Sydney Owens says, I got you, I got you, boo. Jenkins deep! Off the back iron. And Thomas with the uh, rebound with Puka come down, number five, Caitlin Jones finds Shaley Maddox. She doesn't pull the trigger. Journey Roberts back out to her. It's up, it's off, it's long. So we got to reach on Sydney Owens, and that's a tough one, right? You know, if Owens basically gets her hands up, Bedick had the opposite side. She ain't going yeah, anywhere. Yeah, and Bedick, Bedick had the right idea. Just go straight up right there. You've got him, got her trapped. Both both go straight up, but Owens just, she went for the ball, got a little bit of the wrist, and, and they did call the right call. Loose ball. We do have a walk. Great call there by the official. Went right by uh, uh, Lauren Jenkins' feet. Wasn't sure what was going on. She's like, I got a defender. I got an offensive player. I got to play defense. But uh, loose ball hits her ankle, comes back. Falls on the time his hand, but it'll be a walk and a turnover. Cash will take over, 530. What was a slow and sluggish first half has been an exciting, awesome second half thus far. Thomas going back to that man defense. Bedick with a left-hand drive. That's exactly what you want. She gets bumped, no call. Takes it back out to Owens. Shoot She'll shoot the three. It's up. Oh, in and out. Owens has had a couple threes in the last few games. Definitely love seeing her shoot that. Yeah, she's got a good shot, and, and yep. that one right there, I mean, about as far in and out as you could get, get uh, and not go in. Journey Roberts on the block. Owens on her. She doesn't want to do anything with it. Thomas resets. The girl to look out for is Shaley Maddox, but that's a nice pass from Jones into Megley. She's got four. 31-23, cashing up eight. Little mix there, trying to trap Bedick and they'll get the foul there. Nice work there on the quick trap. As number 13, Shaley Maddox came up. I think that was the foul on her, it was. It's her second. Got some local celebrities, Jacob Woody, Kate LaFortune coming in. You know, they talk about the community here at Cash, and you graduate, you still come back and watch games. Jenkins with the drive, and we'll get the foul. Nice call. How you doing, Mr. Jenkins? And Mr. Rainey? Lauren Jenkins. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? I'm 48 years old. I can't get it right all the time. Stephen Rainey coming by. Time out on the floor. That will be the third on number 13, Shaley Maddox, who on the reach, or the trip, I should say. We'll get a quick timeout. Be back here 30 seconds. At Water Heater Man, we specialize in repairing and replacing all water heaters. We service the OKC Metro and surrounding towns with fast, reliable service. We keep our vans fully stocked with essential parts needed for basic repairs, and new tanks are always on the vans ready to go. We offer free estimates on all jobs with financing options available. We match manufacturer's warranty for all newly replaced water heaters. We'll get your water heater back up and running as fast as possible so you don't have to put your life on hold waiting for service. Give us a call today, 405-844-TANK. That's 405 405- 5-844-8265. Go Wildcats! All right, welcome back. Neiman and Bobby here up in the booth, up in the corner with my man Chris Gibson. We got Maddox. We got Zane Stimke. We got my man Tommy Branson on the computer. Appreciate running the production. Braden Stimke on the floor. And we're glad that you're joining us here as a Cash and Wildcats. 
are up eight, 31-23. Wild pass there, brought down by, uh, thankfully by Jenkins. L Train's able to get that one. Bedick, left hand drive. She's got the lane up. Lefty's up and good. Nice work there, creating a little space for herself. Yeah, and that time they didn't, they kind of got behind her, and she gets the corner and goes with that left hand. She's deadly, and that's right there. Like you said, she created a little space for herself, got it up and in off the backboard. Uh, great job by Neely to, to just really take it to the rim. Megley with the turnaround's not there. Great job by Brooke Shelley just standing in her place with her hands up. Megley rolls it off the rim and rebounds to Cashin. Shelley up top. She's got Megley on her. That's some good length. Sydney Owens eyes the three, kicks it back out to Lamb. I would have liked to see Lamb maybe drive with that left hand as Thomas is still in this man defense. Cashin doing a great job, good ball movement. Back cut to Jenkins, it was there. Jenkins will bump her back. Not there, Owens with a rebound. In and out, goodness. Great opportunity for both those girls to get a bucket. I love Jenkins getting that loose ball and kind of working her, her hind end back in, creating some space, wasn't able to fall. Megley looking for number 20, Journey Roberts, and that goes over their head and out of bounds. Cindy Owens deserves a, a nice little round of applause. She gets a high five from Coach Taylor as Izzy Reef checks back in. Full court press, or actually, yeah, it looks like a little, well, never mind. It's just a, it's a, it's a, it's an extended man Trick, here. I don't even know what you call that. They just kind of flashed it, looking for that trap up top at half court on Jenkins. Quickly down, Reeves on the block, works, gets the double team, kicks it back out. Nice ball movement. One more pass, we'll get the three. There it is, Lamb is up, in and out. She's been fantastic tonight. And Thomas with the ball and the missed three from Lauren Lamb. Nice pass into Megley. Hey, nice work there. You don't you don't see the tall, you know, some of those tall posts get down low for that pass. It's a good entry pass. Brooke Chilly doing her work. But it uh, looks like she'll draw the foul. It'll be her third sending Megley to the line. Yeah, on that time, Brooke kind of let Megley, or Megley uh, got in good position, uh, which Brooke has really not let her get in, in that down that far on the block all night long. And Megley's a good enough player. She gets the ball down that low. One on one, she can make a move and get up, uh, get the ball up, and that time. Uh, but that's about the first time that she's really got a chance to make a move down there because Brooke has really been, you know, getting her off of her spot and not letting her have that have that position. Megley converts a two shot foul. Press now. This is a press here. A little full court action from Thomas manning up. They relax back as Jenkins takes her time wisely. The freshman, wise beyond her years. Right hand, no bump call will drive. No bump call there. Thomas fans wanted a fat, I wanted a walk. Cashin fans wanted a, a block call. Cashin resets. No need to rush anything. Continue to find that open shot. There it is to, to Reeves. She curls back in and kind of stands still. So uh, Shaley, or I'm sorry, Sydney Hampton with the jump ball and possession there goes to Thomas. I think she was surprised. Maybe she was trying to, maybe she expected someone to be a little bit closer. I don't know. Under two minutes, Cashin up eight. No walk call as she stutters, misses it. Great job by Jenkins. There's the foul. So that'll be on Sydney Hampton. Number five, Caitlin Jones grabbing her nose. I'm not sure where that came from. Well, Jenkins was standing there with her arms straight, straight up, up, and yeah. she pretty much just kind of ran her face right into her elbow, I think, and <laughs> uh, bad luck. just kind of knocked her off, knocked her off for a second. All right, so Coach Petrie takes a timeout. I don't know if uh, if Simon Branson's keeping track of the timeouts on the scoreboard. They both say five. I'm not sure what's going on. That'll be a full timeout. So we'll go to a timeout. We'll be back here live from Cashin, Oklahoma. Cashin Wildcat TV. Gateway Realty is a mother-daughter team that has a heart for small town life. Both Anita and Kelly were born and raised in Cashin and are still raising their families here. Their family homesteaded in Cashin in 1908 and it's been home ever since. Anita and Kelly know this town, love this town, and would love to help make this your home too. For a friendly face and trustworthy knowledge, call these hometown girls at 405-641-7388. Go Wildcats!
Welcome back to Cash in Oklahoma. Fourth quarter action under two minutes here as the Cash and Wildcats are up. 8 33 25 with the ball. So glad that you guys are joining us tonight on Saturday night, night edition of basketball here on CWTV. Little weave up top. Bedick with a give. Kicks it out to Shelly. She wisely kicks it back out. Don't need a long two here. I liked how that was shaping up. We'll have the block call on number 10, Rihanna Dobbins. I would have liked for Lamb to continue on with that drive, that right hand drive instead of the kick, but uh, she passes it up and you know what? Finds herself the line now. First foul there on Dobbins, the junior. In and out, goodness. Free throw line has not been kind for the Cash and Wildcats. Deep pass tipped out by Bedick from uh, Caitlin Jones, who's looking for number 13, Shaley Maddox, who is the high scorer for the Thomas Terriers tonight. We've got Reeves, Lamb, Jenkins, Shelley, and Bedick on the, uh, on the floor for Cashin right now. Dump down. Nice work there by Bedick on the closeout. Megley off her hand. Shelley with the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Our favorite official. All right, so uh, Shelly basically getting manhandled with the ball, uh, swarmed under. Gets called for the offensive foul. That's four for her. Thomas Ball, minute 13. Cashin is still up eight. Megley on Shelly. If she's smart, she takes it right at her. If she doesn't, she passes it back out. Draws a double, 13. Maddox with a three, it's up. Long, and Bedick with the rebound. I gotta believe in Coach Petrie He's got to know that's four on, on Shelly. Should be attacking her quickly. Cross-court skip pass from Bedick to Jenkins. Jenkins gets uh, nailed to the ground. And uh, with the 18 fouls on the Thomas T Lady Terriers, that'll send Jenkins to the line for one and one. That's fourth foul on Shelly Maddox. And that's it. You saw Brooke down there whenever she uh, got, right after she got that fourth foul, just playing straight up, uh, did a good job of, of not fouling when, the, when Megley did have the ball. And uh, that's a good thing about Brooke Shelley is she is so smart. She knows the situation, and she did a good job there not to get that fifth foul. Another missed free throw for the Cash and Wildcats. Quickly down 25 with a prayer, Sydney Hampton. I don't even know if she was even looking at the basket. She just threw it up. Draws the contact against Reeves, I think. Is that five? And <laughs> if, you're a, if you're Izzy Reeves, like, does that have to be the foul that I found? <laughs> So Izzy Reeves fouls out. She's got two. She's had a tough night tonight. She hasn't been able to get in her rhythm. Foul trouble's kind of kept her in and out of the game. Shooting two is uh, number 25, Sydney Hampton. She makes the first of two. 33-26, seven point lead for the Cashton Wildcats. Under a minute, 45 seconds. Misses it, Bedick Watt quickly jumps out. She draws a double team trap. Jenkins has the ball, take your time, right side. And we'll have a block that's exactly right. See, the Thomas Terrier fans, I know that they're rooting for it, but it's not like Lauren Jenkins just kind of skips over and falls to the sideline on her own. <laughs> bumped, an advantage was gained, and the correct call was made. And they're being they're being very aggressive and, and trying to go for the steal, and if they foul, they stop the clock. I mean, that's the kind of the, the yep. game plan when you're down in this situation. And uh, she did, she fouled her and sent her to the line. So that's the fifth foul on Sydney Hampton. So Cashin's had one foul out. Thomas Terriers have one foul out. Nine fouls for the Thomas Terriers. Next foul on them will be a double bonus for Cashin. Since Jenkins to the line. Let's see if Cashin can cash in on some of these free throws. Can't. So another miss on the front end of a one and one. Jenkins with the, sh with the steal quickly out to Lamb. Lamb, left hand, it's good. And we'll take it that way. <laughs> Nice work by Jenkins, the freshman stealing, looking up, finding the Energizer Bunny, Lauren Land, running down the court. Deep three is off by Caitlin Jones, and they'll go out of bounds to cash in. So with 13 seconds, this is a, all but done as the cash in Wildcats are up nine. Full court press with the Terriers. No foul call there. <laughs> as Lamb gets it, she gets it back out to Bedick, and Coach Petrie basically says no foul as Bedick sits at half court. And that'll do it here as the Cash and Wildcats, I believe, move to 10 and 4 if I'm wrong. Could be 9 and 4. Heck, you know, I got to check my notes. But uh, a great win here 
Two out of three for the Cash and Lady Wildcats as they win 35 to 26 on a Saturday night here live from Cash and. Hey, thanks so much for joining us here. I'm Neiman Abavi, Chris Gibson. We're gonna cut broadcast. We're quickly gonna go to the boys stream. So make sure you uh, refresh your, uh, your web browser, hit the little circle, recycle, whatever you wanna call it. Come back as the boys game will be starting up here very, very soon as your Cash and Lady Wildcats are victorious. 35-26 of the Thomas Lady Terriers. Cash-In Shape-Up Fitness is locally owned and operated with